This second trimester pregnancy came with a history of pelvic pain and bleeding. The placenta is anterior and the upper border shows a hypoechoic collection. Let's slide the probe downwards to the lower border of the placenta. Here too, there is a hypoechoic collection at the lower margin of the placenta. Thus, this patient has two retroplus placental hemat hematomas, one at the upper margin and one at the lower margin of the placenta. Both these retroplacental hematomas are anechoic. Color Doppler shows absence of flow. Retroplacental hematomas can be hypoechoic, anechoic, or even isoechoic. In this patient, both the retroplacental collections or hematoma appear to lift up the placenta from the uterine walls. The absence of flow on color Doppler in the retroplacental hematoma region confirms that this is not a retroplacental mass but indeed a hematoma. Multiple retroplacental hematomas as in this patient can cause an abruption of the placenta. Hence bed rest and medication are absolutely essential in such cases. Here we can see the retroplacental hematoma separating the placenta from the uterine walls. A retroplacental hematoma of such nature is usually because of rupture of the spiral arteries. Follow-up ultrasound has been advised in this patient. Another important differential diagnosis in such cases is placental venous lakes. Placental lakes are also anechoic or hypoechoic, but they occur within the body of the placenta and not between the placenta and the uterus.